Um, so I'm going to go over the course uh, syllabus, uh, just just the you know no lecture, uh, just explain how this is set up. Uh, it's 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 a it's a hybrid. Uh, so I don't know if you've come across that yet. I don't know if you've seen that yet on on, on Canvas. Uh, but I just switched from on course to Canvas this semester, so everything uh, for this course will either be found in Canvas or in the e textbook. Uh, and all this I'll explain here today. Just an introduction to me, uh, my name is Andy, my office is across the street in the building without windows in the bottom four floors called Cavanaugh Hall. I'm on the same floor as the tube uh, that goes across to the campus center. Um, uh, my office hour is from 3 to 4 on Wednesdays, uh, so that's after this class. Uh, but I teach here at noon. Uh, so if you ever would want to meet me just a little bit early, uh, that would be good. I also live 11 blocks away, so I'm always accessible. Uh, unlike all the other uh, professors you have, I do respond to emails uh, in a somewhat timely manner, in fact. Uh, and so, you know, if you, if you need something from me, if you need information, if you're, if you're just, just don't hesitate to message me. Uh, I'm here to help. Um, email B-A-K-E-R-A-N at I-P-Y dot E-D-U. All right, uh, so uh, there's Canvas. I might come back to this, uh, but instead I'll just do a lecture to describe the syllabus, essentially. All right, so G110 hybrid. All right, uh, first off, you've got to get the e-textbook. Uh, so the e-textbook, you just go to this website. It's included in the syllabus, grtep.com. Uh, I would suggest if you've gone to the bookstore, they'd mark things up. Uh, they make things more expensive than what, what they should be. Uh, so I suggest is going to the website uh, and ordering it from there. I, I think it's like 70 bucks, but I asked them, make this as cheap as possible. Uh, who made this book? I did. Uh, so I put a lot of work into this book, and so it's my work, and I asked them, I don't want to make money off of this. I mean, a little, but you know, this is not me making money. This is not me saying, I want to screw the hell out of students, and I want to profit off of them. Uh, I'm at the bottom of the totem pole. Uh, I make probably I make probably less uh, compared to anyone full time about thirty eight thousand. It's pretty low compared to people who uh, get paid eighty thousand dollars to teach one course a year. Uh, I teach four each semester, uh, but that's where you can go to click uh, to to, uh, to access the online textbook. Uh, so once again, I beg them to make it as cheap as possible. It's not a ploy to make money. All right, so the syllabus, how it's set up is. Every week, you're going to have a new chapter available to you. So chapter one opened this morning at 12.01 a.m., and it's, this, and it's going to close at 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. So essentially, you get seven days to complete a chapter. Uh, so one chapter, one week. So after chapter one, of course, next Monday, 12.01 a.m., chapter two will then become uh, open and available to you after, of course, chapter one closes. So 15 chapters. Um, which is the first very simple uh, to understand. Now let's look at the grading. 400 total points for the semester. Uh, so there's 400 total points. Uh, so you've got 15 chapter quizzes. So every single chapter also has a chapter quiz with it. It's a 10 question. Uh, you get 20 minutes to complete it. 10 questions, multiple choice. You can use whatever you want. You can use any resource you want. Uh, you know, a lot of people figure out ways to open up multiple screens as they complete the quiz, do whatever you want. I can't watch you, I'm up there. Uh, so if you want to tag team it, uh, that's cool as well. Uh, I can't control any of that. Uh, so 15 chapter quizzes, one chapter per, or sorry, one quiz per one chapter. Uh, so that's 10 times 15, that's 150 points. Then we have three exams. The three exams, as I'll explain when I showcase the syllabus, are the only three times the rest of the semester you have to be here. Uh, so I'll never take attendance. Uh, nothing else is ever required except three more times we meet. Uh, so those exams each worth 50 points. Uh, I'll explain the exams uh, later on in, you know, as the semester starts rolling. Uh, but um, uh, the questions will actually be provided to you beforehand. Uh, just I'll, quick, I'll go ahead and say that. Uh, but I'll come back and explain the exams, like I said, as we get the first couple weeks uh, started. Uh, then we have three assignments. The assignments vary in degree of difficulty, but they're a total of 55 points. And so I'm adding other stuff besides just quizzes and exams. Uh, and those are often things that help to boost up a grade. These are very simple, right? rather simple assignments. Then we have discussion forum posts. Uh, those are going to be completed inside the textbook. 
So you go to the e-textbook and you'll actually be talking to each other, talking to me uh, via the e-textbook inside it in discussion forums. And then finally, we've got these 15 free point activities, which is as simple as you get. Just do it. Just answer a question. You get one point. All these I'm going to explain right now. First off, the 15 chapter quizzes. This is getting redundant, but you only have one week to complete each chapter quiz. So chapter quiz, uh, chapter one quiz is due 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. So you have until then to complete it. Um, if you have any issues getting the book, I will allow a little bit of a leeway, or sorry, I don't know leeway is the right word, a little bit extra uh, to complete that as you know, we all try to catch up over the first week. Uh, further, like I said, you've got uh, 20 minutes to complete each quiz. Uh, 20, uh, 20 minutes to answer 10 questions is seen uh, to be actually just a little bit longer than what studies say is good uh, for a multiple choice, uh, 10 question multiple choice quiz at the collegiate level. Uh, so that's what they say. Um, like I said, you only get one attempt. It's going to cover the readings, videos. You'll find this e-textbook. It's got readings. It's got videos. It's got stuff built into it. So it's not actual book that you can actually get out and thumb through. Uh, it's more like an online website that you just bought access to. Uh, so that's the chapter quizzes. Once again, 15 of them, each worth 10 points. That's 150 total points uh, for the entire semester. So some of you might be thinking to yourself very um, uh, smartly, be saying, well, wait a minute, why don't I just take the online version of this class? Um, well, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but as we showed, fall 2015, uh, hybrid students, look at the average grade. Uh, average grade was an 86.3%. Uh, so in the online, lower. So you'll do better. Why will you do better? I'll explain that here in a minute. Uh, other things, A plus wise. I mean, you can, I mean, if you're an overachiever, if you're someone that's really worried about your GPA and getting a 4.5 or whatever the hell it is, this is a good opportunity. A lot of A pluses. I don't mind giving A pluses. No, it's, I mean, it's not like I have like a rule where I can only give away one or two a year. No, it's whatever. If you get it, you get it. You know, you earn it. Uh, and only two students either dropped or got an F compared to six. Uh, a lot of people, we pour one out. A lot of people in online just kind of disappear on us uh, for various reasons. So that's why. Now, two reasons for this. Uh, why hybrid students do better. First off, those exams. Uh, the exams, like I said, you're giving the questions beforehand. So you have a great opportunity to prepare. Uh, I'm more than willing to help you uh, in your exam preparations. Uh, so those exams are one reason. Second, the discussion meetings. And I'll explain the discussion meetings, but all of you in attendance today have already earned two bonus points for exam one. Uh, so discussion meetings. We're actually going to have times where they're optional, not required. Once again, we only have three required meetings, those are the exams. But we'll have other optional meetings. Every time you attend, you get two bonus points that will be added to a future exam. So those two reasons combined, the exams, typically students do quite well on them, but also discussion meetings, the bonus point opportunities that you have, the online people don't have, uh, also explain why the hybrid students typically do better. So the three exams. Uh, none of the exams are cumulative in the sense that they only cover the chapters before it. So exam one, just chapters one through five. Then we move on to exam two, chapters six through 10. Then we move on to exam three, chapters 11 through 15. So I remember I mentioned those three required class times, which we have to be here. There they are. Uh, so you can go ahead, and if you know what you're doing, if you know when you're having a baby, when you're having a funeral, when you're having a wedding, go ahead and plan for it, uh, because these are booked in. And unlike the history hallway, when I walk by, when they say, oh, we'll just have an exam next time. No, you already know when the exams are. None of this, hey, by the way, next time we meet, uh, we're going to have an you know, exam. You'll know exactly what they are, when they are. All right, next up are the three assignments. As I mentioned beforehand, they vary in degree of difficulty. Uh, so we have assignment one and assignment two real early in the semester. Uh, we have assignment one and assignment two, and they're pretty, pretty much like a lot of the other assessments. You just do them. You do them completely. You, fin you finish them on time. Uh, you should get five out of five on assignment one and 10 out of 10 on assignment two. Next up, though, is the big daddy of them all. Uh, so we have the country profile assignment. Uh, so if I base this entire course on how you did on a quiz, maybe you're not a good quiz taker, as they say. Uh, maybe you get nervous. Well, here's your opportunity to showcase to me that you understand the concepts by random, you know, some random country that you've been given, you're, you'll be assigned to, applying the concepts 
from this course to that random country. Uh, so it gives you an opportunity to write out your responses to really showcase. Andy, I know what the hell I'm talking about. I know G110. Uh, I know how to, you know, to, to understand the concepts that you describe and apply to some random country that I've never heard of. It's out of 40, it's 40 points. Uh, so we think about that, that's four chapter quizzes. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, so the country profile assignment, I also at the end of the semester, when I think about, you know, okay, do I bump this person up or not, I really look at that country profile assignment. Uh, and I'll come back and I'll explain a little bit more about that right now. Uh, so the country profile assignments. Uh, this is very important. Uh, there's three options. You're to only do one of them. Uh, so do not do all three. I'll only grade the first one that you submit. Uh, so choose wisely. Uh, so here we have the different time in which these country profile assignments occur. Option one, option two, and option three. So once again, Starting to look out in the future. If you're an athlete, if you know, you know you're going to be busy during all of March and April, then you might want to do option one. Further, if you're a business student, uh, if you're interested in economics, if you're interested in international business, uh, this one might be a good idea because its topic is economic geography. Uh, so each of these options, when they become available, you've got two weeks to complete it. Uh, once again, use me as a resource. No one ever does, but use me. Uh, well, that sounds odd. Uh, anyway, um, so option one opens up February 8th and closes February 21st. Uh, so it covers chapters 5 and 6, so it covers the topics that precede or are during that uh, particular uh, time period. Uh, so these also are, are country profile assignments are specific to the content recently covered in the textbook. Uh, so option one, option two, and option three. So option one, if you see the previous semester average grade is the highest as I would argue the overachievers, typically the people who do stuff early, uh, typically are also good students, and so that might be one reason why that score is a little higher. Also, maybe my lectures on that stuff are damn good, uh, demography, uh, compared to, let's say, option three, which everyone does because everyone's procrastinators, and so I get people turning stuff that's half done, and so half done is a 20 out of 40, go figure, and so of course that's going to affect the average grade. So for the most part, I am pretty consistent as far as how the grades are done, uh, but you can tell the average is more reflective of the level of students turning in uh, the assignments. Finally, well, regarding the country profile assignment, it is the only assessment that you complete in Canvas. Now, you'll be having, uh, information will be everywhere. You'll find information uh, uh, you know, on, the, and, uh, on uh, Canvas about you know map you know about the about the, the various quizzes and all of that. I'm trying to use the calendar feature. I'm trying to use all these announcements. Trying to uh, get used to it uh, as I adjust. But this is the only assessment that you complete in Canvas. Every single other assessment, whether it be a quiz, a discussion form, a free point activity, is completed and submitted inside the e-textbook. It'll take a, a few people a couple weeks to figure that out. But anyway, all right. Now we have the six discussion forum posts. Uh, the idea here is uh, uh, getting you to talk, maybe apply a certain concept to you, so your, yourself personally, uh, maybe uh, you know, your expertise, maybe your major, applying something that you know, we talk about in the, the textbook to you personally. It could be kind of more of a, hey, what do you think of this article? Tell me how you feel kind of a thing. They're going to vary. Uh, so the discussion forums, they vary as far as degree of difficulty as well, uh, but you can see they're scattered out uh, throughout the textbook. But each of those is worth five points, five times six, 30. Uh, so discussion forum, also another opportunity to earn some good, easy points. Uh, this is just essentially completing the work, doing what I ask, and you should be good to go. Uh, the only time I really see large numbers or large amounts of deductions is if people just write one sentence when I ask, you know, tell me two paragraphs. And, you know, to explain something and you just write one word. Uh, so those are the types of you know, common mistakes or common uh, uh, errors I see. Next up, these 15 free point activities. Uh, there's about one per chapter. You'll see them scattered throughout. In fact, if you've already purchased the textbook uh, the act, or have access to it, the very first, right when you open up chapter one, if you, look, if you looked at chapter one today, you'll see it starts off with a free point activity. You answer the question, doesn't matter if you get it wrong, doesn't matter if you get it right, uh, you get one point. Uh, and so those are going to be added to your grade book over the course of the semester. It takes me a little bit longer to grade those, just to collect them all. Uh, but these are extremely easy. Uh, so this is another opportunity to boost your grade. 
Uh, and so what I'll do with the free point activities, I'll also collect the data, analyze the data, use the data to explain stuff in lecture and uh, in our, during our discussion meetings. And so we'll do more with it than just you answering a question and moving on. Uh, we'll actually uh, analyze them over the time. Then, like I said, are those nine discussion meetings. Uh, so these nine discussion uh, meetings are completely optional. In other words, not required. Uh, and so after today, these will only be on Wednesdays. Uh, so this is the, the last and only one that will happen on a Monday. What these are are 45 to 60 minute interactive discussions, discussions, not lectures, interacting with you. You've got questions, I answer them. I have questions, you answer them back and forth. Uh, I say cell, free, cell phone free zone only in the sense that, you know, if you're staring at your phone the entire time, that's really not having a discussion. Uh, of course, I don't mind, you know, I'm not, you know, if, if you get it out and, you know, oh, my mom just died, shit. Uh, you know, that stuff, I'm not going to say, oh, put your phone up. No. Uh, you know, obviously, you can you know, things happen, uh, but just if you're staring at that thing the entire time, we're not having discussion, and to be frank, I won't give you that one bonus point, or that two bonus points. I might deduct a point. Uh, but the topics will be uh, explaining assignments before they happen, uh, application of concepts to current events, and so let's say all of a sudden something happens in the world, and we can say, oh, let's use that to, you know, to, to relate that to a concept discussed in one of the chapters. Uh, but where these are really the, probably the most successful, the most beneficial, are the exam review sessions as well. Uh, so <coughs> essentially you, uh, you attend, you get one point for attending, and you get one point for staying till the end. Uh, you'll find out that in probably Oh, a couple of weeks, I'll memorize every single one of your names. Uh, so that, you know, we'll, we'll, we wrote, you know, I'll get out the photo, I'll just get out my camera, take a photo, and then that's how I keep track of, of who was here for the discussion meetings. Uh, so that's that. Any questions on these discussion meetings? Optional. Don't have to be here. Let me say, uh, also, I uh, use this opportunity to explain the video camera. Uh, so today's being recorded, and I'll put this online, I'll put this on our Canvas site. Uh, but all the discussion meetings will also be video recorded. And so once again, what really becomes useful is those exam review sessions. If you're not here, you can still get the content. You still, can still get the information uh, uh, that we discuss in uh, our, our time here from 1.30 till 2.45ish. All right, so here's the schedule. Uh, so these, you'll also find this here in, this, in the syllabus. Uh, but let's try to explain what's going on here. Anybody colorblind? I've literally read green. I yeah, I, I, the, Christmas is awful. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Go. Well, can you what, <laughs> can you tell what color that is, or what what what, what is it to you? Just, these are just the, completely blended. All right. No, those are different. Those are separate. Okay. So you can kind of see uh, the differences. Um, it's the first time someone said yes when I've asked that question. I've been asking. I've been saying it for like thirty years. Well, six years. Uh, no one ever said anything. But anyway, uh, so the green are the discussion meetings. Uh, so the green means those are times in which I will be here at 1.30 in this room, and we can come in, we can have that discussion, we can have you know, uh, conversations about whatever you want, we can be you know, exam review stuff, uh, but that's when I'm in here, and we have those discussion meetings in which you get the two bonus points if you're here uh, the entire time. The red means we're not meeting. Uh, so obviously a lot of red on here, so we... Uh, except for those three in yellow, which are the exam dates, we, you know, we'll never meet on Monday again. Uh, so we just have February 15th, March 28th, May 2nd are the only Mondays in which we'll be here. Now, does that mean I'm across the way at the bar at the bottom of the freshman dorm um, uh, during that time? Maybe, but I'll still be available. I mean, I'm still around all the time. Like I said, I live 11 blocks away. Uh, so, you know, this doesn't mean I'm just kind of you know, just, just screwing off. I mean, I'm available to you. Uh, so you just have to make the effort uh, to uh, message me to meet. Any questions regarding that, the schedule? Seems easy enough. Yeah, seems okay, great. Uh, so the yellow are the required times. Um, and you can see how it's broken down by chapter. I include Sunday, just keep in mind that's when chapters close. Uh, so that's why Sundays are on there. Uh, spring break, I'll get people emailing me on Monday, March 14th. Why isn't chapter 10 open? It's spring break, that's why. And I also added this to the uh, uh, syllabus as well. It's redundant, 
uh, that I found last semester. It was really good because I could come in and students would have, they would, they would copy it, uh, they would put it in Word or wherever, and they would use this as a checklist. Uh, so as we went through chapter one, they would find chapter one, quiz. oh, I did it, uh, discussion for one, I did that. That way you're never lost, and you're never like, oh man, I didn't know that was due. So the thing of this is a checklist uh, to follow along as the semester goes to make sure you're keeping along. So that's what that's for, to help explain why you see a little bit of redundancy on the syllabus. It's to help you. Cool. That's all I got. So if you have questions, comments, concerns, come down. Yeah, we're good, great. Can you go back one? Sure. Now there might be an error. Thank you. You're going to find the error? There might be one. Yeah. I thought you were to critique it. No, I'm uh, putting this all on my calendar, the discussion meeting. So. Cool. Yeah. Um, and so I'll also add this to Canvas calendar as well. I don't know if people, I don't, I don't, do we like Canvas? I don't really use it, so. Okay, I'm just switching from on course to Canvas. So, I, 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 think, I think it's good. I mean, I'm getting thumbs up. Older people hate it, but younger people like it. But older people hate change. Uh, what's the website name again? Uh, Canvas? No, uh, oh, for the uh, next book, the GTRT. Yeah, uh, GR, uh, all this is uh, in the syllabus. Oh, okay. at the top, but uh, G-R-T-E-P dot com. So let me go back to the syllabus. Boom. Uh, boom, it's right there. So uh, the okay. syllabus is a lot of narration of what I just, or uh, is words of what I just narrated, essentially. Okay. Uh, so okay. the link, I try to make the links in light blue. Oh, I got one. it. Like I said, go to the, go don't, Unless uh, yeah. you want them to make money. Huh? This is what they sold at the campus center. It's uh -oh. a map book for like 20 Because that's what geographers do, we stare at maps. <laughs> which is uh, hopefully not what we're going to learn, uh, is, is memorizing places. Uh, I don't do that. I'm a professional geographer. I don't know, you know every single country in Africa like people think we do. Uh, but I'm worried about concepts. My whole idea is after the course, this course, G110 Online, when something happens in the world, you'd be like, oh, yeah, oh, I, you know, I, know, I know why. Not that, you know, well, I know the capital of that country. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can find that out on Wikipedia, but it's the concepts that help explain so the current events, when they happen, you're like, ah, aha, I know it. I'm more informed. Uh, so that's the whole idea. This course is actually more enjoyable than what people think at first. If they think of human geography, it's been ruined by K-12 teachers uh, who have taught it poorly, but it's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Uh, it's actually pretty fun stuff, and kind of benefit from the fact that I got a fun stuff to talk about, which you'll read about hopefully throughout the semester. And other questions, comments, concerns. So if you need to talk to me individually, come on down. <laughs>